The Central Club. Do you need a work uniform? Want to start a clothing brand? Or maybe you have a football kit that needs a logo printed? Well, if I was you, I'd get in touch with the Reinspire Printing Company down to Forest Industrial Estate for the finest printing and embroidery in Wales. I use them for my custom made mankini, but you could use them for t shirts, hats, hoodies, and many, many other things. Do you paint houses? Fancy yourself as a bit of a handyman? Well, if I was you, I'd get yourself down to SM Building Supplies near Victoria Park, Cowbridge Road East. We use them to paint up the Central Club, and it's looking fresh. But you can use them for tools, decking, sand, cement, and many, many other things. What's going on, people? Welcome to the Central Club. This episode is brought to you by SM Building Supplies and Reinspire Printing. Today we have in my eyes one of the hottest artists coming out of Wales right now. He's got the experience, the ethic, the personality, the image, and most importantly, man's got the bars. Appreciate it, bro. You know what time is? It's Splot Road's finest. Mr. My Side of the Bridge. <laughs> it's Mace the Great. Boy, yes, guys. Mod, yes, mod. Guys. Yeah. Come on, give it, give it to him one time. Someone has mod, to say it. Mod, mod. What are you saying, guys? Yeah. What are you saying? All good, man. Sick, sick. Good to I'm have glad you. to be here, bro. I'm glad to be here, man. How's things, bro? Bro, I can't complain. Uh, things are well, bro. Do you get me? It's just progression, life. Things are well, bro. It's all good. I can't complain, bro. Yeah, you seem so, very busy at the moment, bro. New single, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my Side of the Bridge music video. That was the last one I done, so. You know the score? Come my side of the bridge. You'll never get lost if I give you a tour. This city been mad, but you know I got love for my city, of course. No, I just come with a drip of your sauce. Never just come, I've been really on four. It's all going well, bro. Do you mm. get me? I had bare fun doing the video. It's uh, it's good, bro. It's good. I'm in a, I'm in a good space, bro. Yeah, we, I seen the video. You had Robert Earnshaw on there. We just had him on, didn't we, last week? He, what was he like to work Stop, with on bro, a music video? Bro, he was like... It's mad because I remember being in school and seeing, like, Earnshaw, you'd always have mad haircuts and mad, do you get <laughs> me? Like, that, he yeah. was just one of them guys, isn't it, that you, everyone knew about in the city and that, so... Front flips. Yeah, do yeah. you get me doing front yeah, flips? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. <laughs> and the older I've got, I've realised, Joe, it's hard to do a front flip. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. So, yeah, Earnshaw, bro, it was... For it to come full circle and him, and him to, to come to the video and that, and it, it weren't like just all business, like, finish now, boys, yeah, gone. Like, bro, I was having a kick about with him and that. Mm. Goes to show, like, he's a genuine guy, like. Genuine, bro. Yeah. He's one of the nicest guys I've met, bro. I take my hat off to him, bro. Mm. Good, good guy. Full of wisdom as well. Yeah. Well, so much wisdom. Good he was here for about an hour yeah. or two after the both yeah. interviews, playing chess with Tom, hmm. just, just talking. I got life. smoked. <laughs> yeah, you're shit. I got smoked. <laughs> you are shit. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'll teach uh, you, Tom, one day. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you have fun with all your music videos, though, bro. Like, I've seen, like, the last two, three years, the editing, the production's amazing and, you know, it, it looks very exciting to film. Like, well, what made you uh, come up with these type of formats, like of uh, making music videos? Yeah, how did you come up with the style, basically? Because... Um, <laughs> that what, I yeah. did, did that make sense? <laughs> no, yeah, no, no it, yeah. Did, it did, it did, it yeah. did. Um, well, bro, it was like, obviously, it's... Um, it's like a joint effort. Like I have some ideas and I'll, I'll bring that to the to the cameraman usually like for the past, what, past year I've been working with Red Brick. So I'd have a tune, I'd have some ideas in mind and it's like, I bring that to the boys and they build on that. They come mm. and we all just build on it and build on it. So we've got like a solid kind of plan there. Yeah. Um, and one thing for me, bro, is like, if I'm not having a good time, how can I expect to reciprocate that, do you get mm. me? Or the viewers to see that, or do you, do you get me? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like fun, when you're having fun, it's contagious, isn't it? So, and people, when people see that in a video, they're more inclined to like, Yeah, that's a good philosophy, them, so. that bro. It's like, what you're saying, what the energy you put in is the energy you put out. Yeah, definitely, yeah. bro. If I look like I don't want to be there when I'm filming, bro, how can I expect a man to, to stay there for three minutes yeah. and watch it? Do you yeah. get me? It's got to be fun. Yeah, definitely. Mm, makes sense, bro. Yeah, 100%. Mm, definitely. I'm glad you answered that then, because I don't know how I would put that pressure together. <laughs> no, it makes, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> uh, 
Um, now, nah, fair play. Um, I, I want to take it back then before the music. Obviously, you've been in music for a very long time, um, mm -hmm. from the age of like 14, 15, I think. Yeah. Um, how did you get to that point? Um, can we take it back to where you're from in Cardiff and for the people who don't know? Yeah, so I'm from Splot, bro. I'm from Splot. Uh, literally been there my whole life. I Like, yeah, that's that's where I was that's where I What's was Splot born, like? Bro. Splot is sick, bro. Splot's mm. like... Got, yeah, got bear love for Splot, bro. Mm. That's, do you get me? That's my ends, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Good people, good community, good vibes, bro. I, I like, Yeah, I got love for Splot, bro. Always, do you get me? Did you go... Uh, what school did you go to? Willows, was it? Or? Yeah, I went to Willows, bro. Um... And at that time, like, how old um, how old were you when you started getting into music and stuff like that? So, bro, right, how I got into music, yeah, was, can you remember Anton? Boston. Anton Boston. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Anton moved to the school, yeah, and he was just, he was just a sick MC. Anton was always sick, bro. Like, when I say sick, like, at f when we're 14 and now, like, mm. he is sick, bro. Mm. Like, he could spit bars from then now and they're, they're do you get me? Yeah. Whereas, like, my bars then to now. Time, you had timeless bars, though. Bro, timeless. Like, Anton was a sick MC. And I remember, I was just like, I couldn't believe how good he was, yeah. bro. And I was like, I was like, how'd you do what it? What do you have on it? Do you have anything on the net at that time? Mm, no, because back then, bro, it was more. It was early doors, innit? It, it yeah. was early doors then, yeah. bro. Do you get me? But he was just always. What? We're talking, what years now is this? Bro, we're talking, what? When did I meet Anton, bro? When I was like. Probably like, yeah, I don't know, like year eight, year nine, maybe. I remember he done a battle of the mm. MCs, like, which was up in Lan Edin before, and he was about 14, 15 then. Yeah. That's standing what I mean. up on the stage on his own, like, like singing songs, like remember, rapping songs. Rapping. Yeah, songs. like yeah. Anton was, bro, mm. everyone was yeah. like doing, like spitting bars and that. Anton's, yeah, making tunes with a hook and, and everything. Like, bro, Anton was a sick MC and he inspired me was to start in his spitting. DNA. Yeah. Yeah, he's. He was just a natural bro. I remember yeah. watching him thinking like, I was proper young when I watched some of his stuff online and I thought, this kid's sick. Bro, trust you know I mean? me. Yeah. Trust yeah. Me. I think if he carried on, like he, he yeah, I've got like that stardom and power in him where he could bro, easily Bro, Anton could come back tomorrow and drop a banger. It's yeah. light work yeah. for him. Anton is sick, bro. I always have major love for Anton. Do you get me? Because that's my boy, bro. Mm. Do you get me? That's my boy from back in the day, bro. Kind of... Yeah, like, so he was the you first on. one. Yeah, he's the first one. I was like, yo, how do I do this, bro? I was like, you're sick. I was like, I want to do this, mm. bro. And yeah, I just started just going in the studio in school with him. Just started chilling with him, bro. And Did you have a studio in the squad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you like sure. in school and stuff? Was you a good kid, naughty kid? Um, Concentrate. I was, I was, I was in between, bro. Do you get me? I weren't mad naughty, like dashing chairs and that. Do you get me? I was just a bit <laughs> no. cheeky. Do you get yeah, me? yeah. But that's, that's I swear they done one of them school programs in Willows, didn't they? You know, like the yeah, they done that. Yeah, educating Cardiff. Willows, yeah. Cardiff yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was a good season as well. Like probably one bro, of the best. Listen, bro. When I was there, bro, there was there was like a, a pit bull called Diesel that would just come in the school. The boys would let him in the school. <laughs> Stink bombs getting let off on the yeah. stairs and that, bro. They went there when the mad ones left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They went there when it was good. But time was right. Like yeah, you ask anyone like my age and. Older, like Willows used to be quite mad, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mm. always thought that. It always had that reputation of a, a rough school. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, obviously, I didn't experience any other school, so I was just like, it's this the norm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, thinking back, bro, <laughs> Willows was mad, bro. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> when Did I'm you... watching it on the TV and I'm thinking, these teachers, bro, they know how mad he used to be. Yeah. Was it the me? same teachers in there then when yeah, uh, yeah, on yeah. the program? It was a it was a different head teacher, but um like the head teacher that was there on educating Cardiff, he was the maths teacher when I was there. Do you get me? I think it was Mr. Norman or something like that. But yeah. <laughs> Typical head teacher name, isn't it? Norman. <laughs> Mr. Norman. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Willows, bro. Willows was uh Funny times in Willows, bro. Did you play sports and that as a uh, in high school or? So I didn't. I didn't really play for the school. I played for. I played football for Splot Albion and I played rugby for the Buns St Albans. Was you a good good footballer, good rugby player? Bro, I was terrible at rugby, bro. I was terrible. <laughs> I hated it, bro. Got pressured into it and that. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> I literally got pressured into it, bro. Football. Football, I was decent, bro. Do you get me? Left wing striker kind of thing. 
we had good players as well. Good players in the team. So yeah, football, yeah, I was decent, bro. But rugby, bro, I was shocking, bro. What you weren't what it weren't even like you was good at rugby, but you didn't like it. You was just like shocking at, at rugby, but they made you play. Bro, <laughs> I swear <laughs> down, yeah. When we went on tour, bro, they gave me the nickname Butters because I could never catch the ball. <laughs> you know what you mean? I swear <laughs> down, but don't get me wrong, I had some, I had like a couple of good games. Nah, the, the ratio was terrible. <laughs> well, opinion. how come you played then? Did like people just want to get you into sports? Was it keep you out of trouble or like? Bro, it was just like, it was socially, it was just like that. All the boys were doing it, bro. Yeah. So, and then like, yeah, my mate's mum, do you get me? My mate, Sam, he was, um, and, um, he was on the team and his mum, bro. She was just militant, bruv. Come into my, come into my house. We bro. all know that, man. No, yeah, 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 you yeah, get yeah. me? Come into Make my house, bro. Training yeah, and you're I'm, there I'm answering in my pajamas yeah. and I'm trying to get out of it like my belly's hit and I ain't on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get me? And bruv, she's just not moving. She's not moving from the yard. She's like, come on. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Yeah. Like we got an away game and I'm thinking, <laughs> bruv. Where are we playing? The town up handy. It's and raining bro, on a Sunday bro, morning. I remember like bro. teams like like St. Peter's and that, bro. We used to be pure good, pure big and that. And good I'm like, rugby oh, clubs. Bro, it's freezing. It's pure muddy and that. And I'm just like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'd rather be on the bench in a tracksuit just chilling. Do you get me? Yeah. What position was you? <laughs> I was winger, bro. <laughs> I was winger, bro. I couldn't play any other position. I, I weren't getting stuck in like that, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just out of the way. You're quite a small, like, you're not like big, are you either? So, was you, was you like that when you were younger as well? Yeah, bro. I weren't bigger when I was younger, bro. I was just, just, skinny, just getting yammed bro. by big props and stuff. Bro, do you get me? <laughs> oh, nah, I used to hate <laughs> tackling people and that, bro. <laughs> So, oh, no, nah, I hated rugby, bro. When did you, um, so uh, during this time, were you starting to form Flow Dem? Like, how did that come about? So, it was kind of like, it was kind of like a crossover, bro. Like, I, I kind of, like, the less uh, I got, the less I was interested in sports, like, the more I started getting interested in music, yeah. innit? So, that was the kind of crossover, bro, for me. And was, I just had more were you, So, were you friends with all of them at the time, or was it you were friends with um, Anton and then you... Yeah, so I was friends with, so I was getting out of the sports, like I met Anton, started doing more music and that, um, Ray, Ray moved to the school then, because Ray come from London, Ray moved to the school and he was like, he, he, just, he just MC'd, he was like, he could freestyle and that, innit, so we just started chilling together, bro. We just started chilling together and then we was like, yo, we should make a group. Da -da 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 -da. And we just just gassed off yeah. our head, bro. Do you mm. get me? And yeah, they just they just any happened, groups bro. you were looking up to, like, yo, these guys are the, we could do this. Do you get yeah, me? Yeah, like I think basically Anton came up with a name, innit? And it was um, <laughs> he was like, he was like, it was Flo Dan, the MC, and it was Slu Dem, the, the Slew group, Dan. innit? So, you know, like Temperty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, Tronic. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. all from Slu Dem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, Flow Dan's just like serious, roll deep. like roll deep, my yeah. man. Um, so yeah, Anton was like, "Yo, Flow Dan, that's what we are. That's what we do." Yeah. and I'm just like, "Yeah, cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, safe. Mm. Let's go." Do you get me? Yeah. Uh, did you did, have? Sorry, go, go on. on. Nah, go on. How did the other two get involved then? Because they're from. They're not from Cardiff, are they? No. So basically, um, there was always more of a scene in Newport back in the day, bro. So me, Anton, and Ray would be going to Newport, um, and we met. We met Carvel, who's who's little C critical now. Do you get me? And bro, I always thought like he was always one of my favorite MCs from Newport, innit? it? Mm. Um, even before he was in the group, I always thought like, yo, this kid is just like a proper grime head. Like he just he's sick. So yeah, we kind of built a kind of relationship with Carvel, and then we had a manager who was like head of the youth center there, Urban Circle, and he was like oh, you need a singer and that. So he, he he was dealing with this kid called Michael from Bristol and he just put him in the group, innit? <laughs> Michael <it>? from Bristol. <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah, he just put him in the group, bruv, and then that, that was it from near then, bruv. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it was just jumbled together, but it seemed like you all got along well. Like, was, yeah. was Michael, like, welcomed into the group straight away or was it just sort of a, like... Yeah, you know? it, was it was blessed. I think naturally, like, we was all a bit more, I don't know, was you hungry for anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, think. of course. And yeah. like, like naturally, like me, Anton, Carvel and Ray, because we was like, because he was a singer and we was on grind. We would have been more of like, 
Even so the way the Rue boys, like, do you get me? Just a yeah. little bit. Even the way he dressed was totally different to yeah, you guys. Yeah, he was, he was different, bro. But it's like, do you get me? We, we bring him in the same way and uh, let him in. We was just, we didn't know any different, bro. We just listened to our manager and... Of course. Do you get me? Thing, yeah. So from then, you went into, obviously, that television program. Was it Stars? Uh, Star, what was it called? Star it, was, it was Must Be The Music, Must bro. Be The Music, sorry. Must, must <laughs> Be The Music, Stars In Your Eyes. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Why did I think it was uh, Music In The Stars? <laughs> Yo, listen, that's big in the game, though. That's Lads, I'm off yeah, yeah, phone today, game, boys. Yeah. I'm off phone. <laughs> wow. Uh, nah, so Must Be The Music, uh, that was hosted by Dizzy Rascal. <laughs> yeah, Dizzy Rascal, um... I can't really remember. The, I think Charlene Spateri, but I don't even know. I just know she's like an acoustic How did you get singer. scouted for that then, bro? Bro, our manager just took us for an audition up okay. in London. Yeah. Fucking, sorry, I didn't mean to swear no, bro. No, it fine. was um, in the queue for time, bro, in the rain and that, bro, long. And then we done the audition, bro, got through, and then boom, just yeah, just done, done the process, do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that feeling, like doing the t t television and stuff? Um, it was mad, bro. It was mad. But, you know, I, I never, I don't regret it, bro, because it taught me at an early age about like stuff like stage presence and, and yeah. mm. do you get me? Like not to cup the mic and, and little things like that. Lessons I, I like I still know now. Why yeah. is that important? I mean, um, like the whole even cupping the mic, like all those little things. It's pro like professionalism, how you sound when you're like cupping the mic. When you're like, used to the studio where one mic's getting passed around yeah, and yeah, that. Like yeah. as an MC. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold it like that. You yeah. hold over the thing like that, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. that's what everyone's doing. With the, so wire, with do the wire like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. trust <laughs> me, bro. Like... So yeah, I learned a lot of things at an early age then mm. about uh, being professional, do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that show, we were doing shows like... We were like supporting Tinchy Strider in Falmouth and that, and it was doing mad shows, bro. Mm. Do you get me? So, like, yeah, it was it was a massive learning curve for me. It, it was almost like trained me up a bit. Do you get me? What did you learn? Um, what did you find uh, figure out from like touring with these people? Um, what did I find? Like, I found like. It was like, bro, it was just like everyone's human for one. Do you get me, bro? Yeah, of course, mm. yeah. Because it's like you it's easy to put them on a pedestal. Yes, yeah. very easy to put people on a pedestal. But when you even now when I do shows and I meet people that I like it's the first time I've supported them or whatever and I get to speak to them and that it's like it's it's a it's a humbling experience because it's like they, yeah, it's just you realize, yo, everyone's everyone's human, bro. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. And it is easy to put people on a pedestal. But yeah, I learned, I learned how to perform. I learned how to like structure songs and stuff, and think more about how I write and punchlines and flows and stuff like that. Whereas if I didn't go through that, I would have just been like, just MC and just learning off my own back, innit? Do you yeah. get me? Were you in uh, inspired by like the production and like that that side of it, like the the um being on set yeah that was that was all crazy yeah. bro like I was, I'm getting like do you get me they're giving us like a wardrobe and that yeah and that's putting us all in fly clothes and that I'm thinking yo yeah yeah like, yeah yeah did you get to keep the clothes right? no <laughs> <laughs> what's the no. point it? it's fucking mad like do you get me bro I'm thinking yo I've done a shift in it I may as well keep it just yeah. put it on yeah. underneath bro <laughs> yeah. obviously you was young then was you like was you getting money for this type of stuff or was it just like you're just soaking up the experience yeah bro we were, we were making a we were making a bit of money bro there was times we would like I remember we'd say on Facebook that we're going to the top of church away outside Capitol, bro. And we were just shot in hoodies and tea and, wow. and CDs out the back of the So you made many from like a side hustle, like from the flow then? Yeah, You're yeah, You're not getting yeah. paid from like the shows. Oh you, yeah, we, when we done bookings and that, we did like after the show and that, we were getting paid for certain shows. Not, not like all shows, but certain shows we were getting paid for. You were hustling though? Yeah, it was, it was, it was mad. We were so young. It was like, we didn't really keep track of things and that, mm. do you get me? Yeah. Looking back, what um, if you could go back and really change anything or do anything differently, or, you know, maybe what was the lesson that you took from that? And, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, um, the lesson that I took was more like to be humble, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Because yeah. the flow them thing, it started and then we, like my manager went missing and then we we, we broke up and stuff. And it's like, it's like, yeah, I kind of had to, 
we was on our own again then and it was like we started from the bottom and then we all kind of branched off and done our own things and stuff so it was more like towards the end of it it was more of like a humbling experience do you get me yeah and yeah that's that's probably what i learned from so it. no disagreements as a group then uh, no, naturally there was there was some disagreements, bro, but nothing nothing major. Didn't yeah. come to blows mm. or nothing, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's it's harder in a group because it's like you've got you know you've all got different minds and you all need to come to an agreement. And naturally, you have you know you have different views on stuff and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's like on X Factor when they have like the group stages, and sometimes they might have like three, four singers who are pretty good. But won't make it as a, I'm not saying you wouldn't, but they don't make it. They think they won't make it as a star. They join a group. It'll either go great or it'll be a disaster. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. what it seems like it was when they brought in um, uh, the boy from Newport, um, yeah, Critical, yeah, yeah. and uh, Michael from Bristol. It feels like that's what they were trying to do, force it. Yeah. And you've played it out as long as you could, really, haven't you? Yeah, literally, bro. That's that's what it was. Do you get me? Like, even now, like I still have a good relationship with with the boys. I don't really speak to Michael that much because he's in Bristol. He just does his thing. But Same. all the other boys, like, it's love. They're yeah. like, I was on a mission with them, bro. I was, did you get me? I was, mm. did you get me? I was staying up Carvel's yard and stuff like that. And like, yeah, they were like my family, bro. Do you get mm. me? So. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Like when you look, um, when you're young and I like, oh. Yeah, yeah. What like what um? It seems like you're the only person though out of that group really pushing now. Like you like you said, if Anton came back and made music tomorrow, it would clap. Um, any of the other boys doing any music? Yeah, Ray's been Ray's been dabbling in studio, bro. And I think C he's always writing and stuff. And like I gotta I gotta I gotta link up with him because I, I rate I rate them both yeah. highly. Anton he's got he's got like dogs and that. Now, yeah, so. yeah. Shout out Anton. Yeah, Anton's Good doing kid. his doing his thing with the dogs. But Anton always been like a little go getter. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. Proper yeah. little, little go getter. Like mm. if he wants something, no one's telling him different. He's yeah, going for yeah, it. Like, yeah, and that's yeah. what I've always liked about Anton. Do you get me? Yeah. Uh, when you was um. Obviously joining Flow them and before that, was you always into grime? Was it gr was you a grime MC or would you rap as well? Or no, it was always grime for me, bro. I was like, it was always grime. I loved like Skepta, Bashy. Um, who else did I like coming up, bro? So oh, there's so many, innit? so many, bro. So yeah, many. like obviously <laughs> scraps. Wiley, Scraps, like yeah. Bro, SLK. when yeah. he was a grime MC, you mean scraps? Yeah, even no, good, even even like, like roll deeper now, like um, yeah. scratchy and that. Bro, I used to think scratchy, scratchy was, was sick, sick yeah. bro. New York generals, yeah, a bit of them, bro. Dizzy, Dizzy, yeah. I always thought Gets. was sick. Gets everyone, bro. Everyone, Kano, and it's sick to see them all be like like Kano's doing Top Boy and yeah. do you get yeah. me? Like everyone's still Bashy. active. Have you seen the thing Bashy's in? What's it called? Them on uh, yeah, Netflix. that was crazy. That, that's like a, it's like kind of like Get Out in it. Or it's it's see. from the same makers, isn't it? it? It's Jordan Peele, is it? Yeah, it's sick, bro. Jordan Peele's crazy. He is, bro. isn't he? He's some sick stuff. Was, was like, well, you know, obviously you, you were into grime and that, but you know, like back in your house, did, was like, what's the music coming from your family? Like, was there any inspirations there? Like, yeah, Good my question. dad, bro, my dad would just. My dad would be dropping bangers all yeah. the time. I remember my dad had a Jeep, bro, and I'd just be riding around <laughs> with my dad and he's playing bangers, bro. Like, like what? Like what? Like like Ice Cube. Like remember yeah. Ice Cube <laughs> and that in Colors. Colors. A good thing. Colors. Yeah. Colors. And like, even like um there was an R and B singer back in the day, Jaheem, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case and yeah, I mean, that's all the garage yeah. tunes, isn't it? Bro, like bangers, bro. Like the the uh the taste of music in my house was always yeah levels bro was it like uh electric like garagey and that sort of stuff is it no like... it was more like it was more r&b hip-hop reggae and that that's, reggae, that's yeah. in my house any reggae influences reggae influences like you like you have you have a bang reggae match or i do listen to reggae yeah. but like i don't know reggae i just feel like it's, it's constantly a vibe isn't it bro? yeah you can, you can play reggae from 20 years yeah, ago and we it bangs in the we, well we bang uh, in the salon reggae, that's what we play reggae. Man. Yeah. but then even now like you got people like coffee and um yeah, yeah. what's his name bro oh, pro, um protege yeah, yeah 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 you got like the like the new school the new um reggae artist which is sick yeah yeah so yeah reggae yeah reggae is like a timeless good I vibes, think. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. are you the only one in in your family who's done music yeah yeah yeah, no one really does music in my What's family. your old man like? Do you, does he love it? Like, is he proud, proud of you? Yeah, my old man's definitely proud. My mum and I, like, it's got to a point where it's like, like, they think I'm good now. Do you get me? Like, before mm -hmm. it was, I was always on, trying mate, son, and, stop and, it. and now, like, yeah, it's, they, they're proud and stuff. Yeah, so, sick. 
you get me? My mum's like, well done and that. Uh, do you yeah, get me? My mum's nice. there commenting on my Instagram post. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum's dropping fire emojis and I'm yeah. like, yo, mum. I'm like, yo, yo this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, how do you know yeah. about fire emojis? <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. That's sick. That's, that's good. good. That's, uh, good. that's so sick. But obviously, like the grime scene obviously comes in and out, don't it? Like it mm. goes away, comes back. It's kind of having a revival now, you could say. What, what, what was your, was you always consistent uh, obviously when you like fell off with flow then or like kind of when you're, you're separate ways did you keep making grime music or music or did you like you know have a break from it i i definitely had a bit of a break do you get me but it weren't it weren't too long i was always like i always kept my finger on a button do you yeah. get me so it was like even though i weren't on the circuit release and i was always writing bars yeah. and that don't stop that do you? yeah like i was i was always i always had love for it bro and then at one point then it was, it was like, it was the people I seen, bro. Like even before Flo, then like I told you earlier, bro, I was, I was, I was seeing like you and Blue, yeah. <laughs> Blue Vatsalu and that, Local always been around, Benji, FernQuest, like he was Tiny Skits back yeah, then. Yeah, shout out there, man. Do you get me? <laughs> Everyone, like, I remember when everyone was on it and I yeah, weren't in it. Scene, weren't it? Uh, back, back. Like I was saying, it's been like 15 years now. Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been it's been time, bro. But um, yeah, I was always, uh, you know, and I just got inspired from stuff like stuff that Astro Boy's done and that. Yeah. Do you get me? Just thinking, yo, like. They made it they possible. They made it, didn't they? Yeah, like these men have been signed by Sony and they, they're getting booked for like Reading Festival and that. And like, where they're bringing me, I'm seeing it right in front of me and I'm like, yo, this is mad. Yeah, so you went touring with them, did you? Just like, as like, come, come and have a look at this sort of thing, was it? Yeah, like, I weren't, I weren't like, out there, like, on the tour every date, but like, certain dates, I'd got, I'd come with them and that and I'd, I'd get a little performance in and stuff. So, yeah, it was, it gave me an insight to like, what's possible, do you get me? Mm. You've had a lot of insights, haven't you, along the way? You yeah. Know, you talk about from Flow them days, lucky to be in, in, in a circle with Asteroid Boys. Mm. Obviously, that's that's setting you up perfect for your future now, really. Yeah, that even seeing like local, when local done Lord of the Mics, I was like, yo, this is mad. Mm. This yeah. is mad. And, and, and he's killing it. That was like, a big one yeah. for Cardiff. Yeah, like, so it was, there's lots of inspiring things that's made me think, just keep keep going, bro. Yeah, just keep going. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. What's um? So you was M dot first, weren't you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, bro. And now you're Mace the Great, which is my surname. <laughs> and I and, and he, I was called Mace. Yeah. But like, it's nothing personal, obviously. Mace you're Mace. the better one. But <laughs> oh, what no. I'm saying, is, no, well, you, you know, you're the one uh, whole, flying the flag for this, and you. I'm all for that. What I'm saying is, what 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 was the change? Did you just want to switch it up? Did you feel like the, the M dot was like? Bro, I felt you. like the M dot was very childish. I wanted something more closer to reality. Do you get me? My name, my first name's Mason. Mm. So everyone does yeah. the dot, I know. Yeah, M bro. Yeah, bro. Do you get me? So yeah. it was like a transition I had to take. And first, I was Mace, but then obviously, even though it was Mace with like a C. Well, first of all, it was just Mace with an S, and then obviously there's 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 the Mace like Puffy and Mace, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like it was hard to get all my stuff on iTunes and that, and mm. so you're typing my name into YouTube, and that Mace that is popping up. up. So, and then I mm. changed it to Mace with a C, and then I just went Mace the Great to just mm. do you get me? Did it even yeah, yeah, yeah. like further your um, like what's the word like? Um, just to make yourself a bit more... Uh, so you need to find you. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally. So it was just like, it's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, you, but had, to, you had to add it, didn't you, really? You couldn't have just Mace again. Because like, Mace rapper, would be like you said. drowning in... Uh, so I was going to say as well, how else do you think your image has changed since you first started? Like, what are the things you've picked up? The image, mm. my image, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I've just always tried to... I've always tried to keep it like professional as best I can. Do you mm. get me? Yeah. Um, but yo, that's a good question. How have my <laughs> image changed, bro? I don't know, bro. I'm still in bloody tracksuits all the time and that, bro. But I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's, oh, you got me there. I've got a question for you, bro. What do you think it takes to be a big artist? Mm. Uh, it definitely takes dedication, bro. Mm. It takes dedication. Um... It takes like thick skin as well. Do you get me? Like no one's, everyone ain't gonna rate you all the time, and everyone ain't gonna rate you straight away. Mm. Do you get me? 
Um, yeah, and I feel like to being true to yourself as well. Okay. Definitely being true to yourself. What, don't don't like compromise how? yourself for, for things. Do you get me? Yeah. Do you, how much of it, like, uh, like the background goes, like the team, like, would you say that's... That's a massive part, bro. Do you get me? I can't... I can, like, if you put me in a room with a laptop and a mic and a camera, I still won't come out with a music video, bro. Mm, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. it, it, a team is, is that's probably one of the most important things, having, like, a good team, team. behind you as yeah. well, do you get me? Mm. With the same kind of vision, same goals yeah. in front of them, like, yeah. definitely. How would you find the team? like, Bro, it was, bro, it just, I don't know, just people... People who believed in me, bro. Yeah, like if you if you were speaking to a younger artist now, do you know what I'm saying? Like, do you know what I'm trying? Like, yeah, I definitely say use the people around you, bro. Yeah, use your friends, bro. Yeah, you don't, bro. You don't need a big camera. If if you my man's got an iPhone, you know that's 4K nowadays. Yeah, bro, you it's can, doable, bro. Yeah. The, the videos I've seen done off iPhone are mad. Yeah, mad, bro. So. Get your bros on it, innit? What, yeah. actual music videos? Yeah, yeah I've seen bro, music videos done off. These iPhone. are worthy, yeah, yeah, these yeah. Are worthy of, of a music that. video now, bro. You just got to use your head. Trust me. Raz, I didn't know how like Jamie. It's definitely doable, bro. It's definitely doable. I've I've seen it done. I've seen videos on iPhone and I'm mm. I didn't know it was iPhone until you know I me? Found Yeah. Out, Vic yeah. Len says it all the time. He's like, you was talking to some guy like who wanted to make it in music and he was like, Oh, but I haven't got a camera. He's like, Have you got a phone? He's like, Yeah, well use that then, bro. Do you get me? You just <laughs> yeah. you gotta you gotta just if you, you haven't actually, got it, you gotta yeah, make you can it. Get, like, you like know, like stabilizers. You can get, and yeah, you yeah. get gimbals. I seen that, someone at that show, innit? it? Um, what was that show I seen you at? The, the Lab uh, Seven. Lab Seven, yeah. yeah. My man, I was speaking to him about. He had a gimbal with his phone on it, like that, doing some mad spins. Oh yeah, 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 I've seen yeah, that. actually, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make a music yeah, video now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the video turned out nice. Yeah, you can even get like the the mic attachment yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. How do you think your uh, music styles changed? Do you think there's anything that's changed there, or do you think it's just been? Yeah, I think it's definitely changed because I'm, you know, I'm maturing I'm, as well. I'm yourself. maturing. Your yeah, so. Everything. Yeah, I'm maturing, so I'm mindful about what I'm speaking about. Um, also, like, I get influenced every day off, like, the new artist, the, the old artist, whatever's mm. relevant as well. So, do you get me? I take that into consideration. Yeah. So, it's like... Are you up to date with everything that's going on in the industry? Like, <sighs> some people can just be, watch bro. themselves, can't they? Just, yeah, I mean? yeah. I, I try to be, bro. I think you've you got to be... you got to know what's relevant and yeah, stuff, yeah. bro, so you don't fall mm. off, do you get me? Mm. What about, like, your writing process? What do you do for your... How's your writing process? My writing process, bro, I just... I find a beat that I like, like we produce. Like I used to go searching for beats on YouTube and that, but now like I've built kind of relationships mm -hmm. with producers and some producers will just send me stuff. So, so do you think time. YouTube yeah. beats is the way forward or do you think it's better to just really just find the producer that like kind of knows what you want? I think, I think as long as you operate properly with it like so if you find a beat on youtube and you get in touch with a producer and you get you get me you yeah yeah you, you give them a bit of change for the beat and that there's free beats out there all day long yeah like the i found brave instrumental on youtube that's bro. hard beat Do you get me i found so brave and bosh instrumental on youtube from the same producer i found okay. bosh after brave after because i just felt like who was the producer for that modest james Okay. And he's a sick producer, bro. From the UK. Mac James is yeah. sick. He's YouTube as well. Yeah. Local done it. Him. Mac James, he done the one with local and traumatic. That yeah, 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 of course that's, I know that's him. Like, yeah, Mac James from Manchester. Shout out Mac James. He's yeah. Kid. Mm. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, YouTube's a platform for like producers as well, yeah. bro. So yeah. it's like yeah. if there's a producer this you like, for artists. Yeah, so there's always producers I check in with that I rate just to see what new stuff they got yeah, and can they resell sick. a beat? I like I've seen like, Leasing, like yeah, selling. Like, oh people. yeah, bro. Course, that's their business. Bro, I've had like pure murder with that over the years, bro. Do <laughs> so you get me? Like I've dropped a tune, next man's dropped beat. a tune to it. I'm like, yo, what's yeah, going yeah, on? That's and then the it's only like, thing, man. Yeah. It's like you, you've leased the beat, bro. Do you get me? Like, yeah. But really? Bro, so what? Yeah. So you've leased so it, bro. Basically, you've bought the beat, but they've leased it. it. Is that yeah. what you're trying no, to say? No, no. It, it, that's, that's like, you can't really, if I've bought the beat outright. They delete it and take it away. Yeah, like yeah. you can resell it sort of thing. It's but producers man. usually have like a little kind of price list of like how you can lease yeah. the beat or you can, this like. Oh, if, okay. Yeah, so I've seen that. Yeah, I can yeah, borrow yeah. you the beats. It's cheaper. You than buying it, so yeah. you can use it for your tune. But I, I can still sell it to next have it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you see, you obviously you've done that, and somebody else has dropped a tune with the same beat that you. Yeah, got. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. One of the biggest That's, tracks or is it more like just one of a random one on a, a mixtape? No, it was one of the, bro, it happened, was it, was it Jungle? 
Oh, fucking hell. Joe, jo- I done a tune, Jungle, my, uh, my first tune I did with Deadly, bro. And it's like, bro, I'd be happy to drop that tune today. Oh, I really like that song, do you get me? Yeah. But it's just and, a... and because of that, you're not dropping it, is it? Because of No, your... I dropped it. It went out, bro. But it was like a, in the around the same period of time, someone else dropped to, uh, the, to the tune who? as well, bro. Do you know who? Um, I didn't know. I knew of the artists. They, they were like from London, London and that. They were probably at the same level as me yeah. at the time. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. Could, and could you? Did you go back to that producer? Or there's nothing you can really do. In it? I went back to the producer, but there was <laughs> nothing I could do, bro. Yeah. By that yeah. time, the tune's out, bro. Yeah, it's like you can't go out. back. The lucky thing was, it was on different platforms. So I dropped mine on SBTV, and this went out on Link Up TV. So Big do you platform. think it's important for like every artist to have their own producer, somebody who can just like work with them consistently and say, "Yo, like let's make your sound you." And I think I think that's important, bro. Very but lucky to have. It, if I think it's yeah, it's lucky to have because it's like. You know, like uh, producer artist combinations work well. Like anytime Lethal Bizzle does a tune with, um, who is it? Dis- Distortion is Distortion, it? Distortion, yeah. yeah. Bro, banger. Yeah. Like, do you get me? Undeniable, like banger. Like, but yeah. like it's good, but then different producers bring different things. Do you get yeah. me? Mm. So it almost like, it's, ne- it's never good to just limit yourself to one it kind of producer. It might be worth having like four producers who, yes. who all kind of, have they know who you are, but then they also have their own sound as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they can just basically fine tune that sound to you, but like in their own way. Yeah, I'd never want to limit myself to just one producer. I'd yeah. like to work with lots of different producers. It's nice to know that, that like when you hear the type of beat though, yo, that's that's Mace. T- yeah, Mace is yeah, gonna jump yeah. in on this because this is him all day. Yeah. You know when you hear the beat and you're like that's Mace all day. Yeah, like that's, 100%. that's Wiley all day. Bro, Wiley would tear that. Literally, you know? that's how I felt with the Bosch instrumental. I was yeah. like, I was like, bruv, this is a hard beat, but it's a local. Local beat, yeah. It's a like local the beat, bruv. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that all the time. And you know, when, when I, I sent it, it to him, hard. yeah, when I sent it to him, first thing he said, he's like, yo, bit of me this, bro. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I knew it, bruv. I knew I'm, it, like, yeah. I'm like, you got to do the chorus because it's like, it's your vibe, do you get me? Yeah. And and I'll have a verse and do you get me? We'll share the last verse, whatever. So, so like you said, going back then, you never really write lyrics and Unless it's to a beat. You can't really just sit there and... No, like sometimes like very rarely like maybe a line or two will pop in my head and I'll just write it down. But more time, bro, when I'm writing bars, I'm zoning out. I'm listening to a beat. I'm I'm in it. Do you get me? Mm. If you write to a beat, yeah, and then someone said, oh God, listen, I want you to come on a tune and it's a different beat, would you still use that lyric? Like, yeah, I think if I felt, if I felt it fitted well in that and it yeah. weren't, if I felt it, it was better on the beat I wrote it to. I would always try and go back to yeah. that one because it felt better. But yeah, I'm... Because some know. people go on like that. They'll just sit and write bars, 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 bars. And then someone will say, oh, do you want to jump on a tune? And they'll look through all their bars and say, oh, yeah, that'll, oh, I'll use that one on that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't, it don't innit? Yeah. Do you get me? Mm. It's a, yeah, it's the chance of it, innit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you always stick to grime? Would I always stick to grime? Um, I think I'll, I'll always make grime, bro. I, I, do you get me? That was like my first kind of... Baby. Yeah, that was like the first Check genre that I like. Yeah, 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 I fell in love with and Pop started. My cherry mm. to grind. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll always, i always have love for grime, yeah. bro. I'll always enjoy grime. It's not here to experiment. Yeah, yeah but I, I feel like I feel I almost feel like drills the new grime, bro. It ain't. Yeah. It's if you're a grime MC, it ain't hard to jump on a drill beat. Especially <laughs> melodic drill as well. That's uh, I hear a lot of grime huge, MCs on drill now. Yeah, what bro. do you think about it though? What do I think about it? I think I love I love drill, bro. I do love drill. I love the the new kind of feeling and vibe it's brung. Yeah. But I think sometimes it does get repetitive in yeah. terms of like what people say, like, like same how many times on, and stuff it brings, like that. It brings yeah. the same thing out every time. Yeah, I think but I think great things have come from drill, like yeah. like heady one, uh, yeah. digger digger D and that. Like, bro, think about our own like, Chris Rich, like you get know I me, mean? bro. Chris Rich, bro. Like that's an, that's another like. He's killing it, bro. Mm. He's like, what producer from from our city of work you know with what like he's done as well? and everyone? With all of he's them. come in the, the drill scene and he's made his own drill sound. Yeah, it's like you know it's a Chris Rich same beat. Drill. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's hard to do in fucking you, drill because it all sounds the that's same. That's what like I mean. said. So mm. that's why Again, he's, that's that's why he's so talented. Big. Yeah, talented guy. Yeah, hundred percent. And Convergent. he's humble, bro. He's humble. He's still got time for artists down here, do yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. When I talk to him and I, he's I do still want to see time. him work with more artists down here. Yeah, he's a, he's a busy guy, bro. Yeah, he's a he busy guy. Busy, but when yeah. he is around and when he's down, bro, he's always, yeah. do you get me? Anytime I've shouted him, he's always like, on, on he's always blessed, bro. Do you yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's yeah, always yeah. love with Chris, bro, to have, be fair. Have, um, so obviously, you know, you said you had breaks and whatnot. Like, so if, what else in your personal life have you had going on? Like, um, do you, do you, I'm sorry, I swear you was a hairdresser. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done uh, barbering when, barbering, I, when I left school. <laughs> Hairdresser. <laughs> nah, yeah, I done, I done a bit of barbering. I done barbering for like five, six years, bro. Um, yeah. Do, so, do, do you still do it on the like on the side thing for extra cash, or if you, you just are you done with that now? Or? Nah, bro. Basically, it was kind of like I left school. Do you get me? I didn't know what to do, so. I just done it because like my brother was doing it, innit? My mm. older brother was doing it. And I did enjoy it, to be fair. I did enjoy it. It's a skill I'll always have, bro. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. You can it's take it trade. anywhere with you, can't yeah, you? Yeah, and it's yeah. a That's skill a I can yeah, always yeah. go back nice to, bro. Trade, do you get me? Like, man. Yeah. Couple had, of trims in, I'm yeah. back in the game. We've sort had chats of thing. and stuff as well, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, so bro, yeah, we have definitely. We'll have to pick that back up. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, do you get me? I'll always like that's another kind of yeah, I always I always got a bit of love for Barbara and it's something I enjoy, bro. Yeah. And it's a job that you have a bit of freedom with, yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. The only thing I've uh, found with it is it's like um, you're a creative guy, very creative person. And um, there's only so far, I believe, per, the people would argue against me, but there's only so far creatively you can go with it because that customer, at the end of the day, he wants I, what he wants. I disagree, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. seeing people eat fucking spaghetti off people's heads. Now no, but like, oh, bro, that's mad. I haven't seen that. Have you but seen it on no, Instagram? Bro. If you want to take it what there, you it? can take it there. Like. <laughs> oh, we'll have to put it up on you, right? Basically, I've seen like, there's a guy, right, yeah, on like reels on Instagram and he'll like make people's hairdos and he'll make them into like a... Like a, a bowl. Like a bowl. <laughs> and he'll eat like noodles uh, off their head. Cereal. Like, yeah, <laughs> bro, have you seen it? Yeah. Bro, Yo, that's, fucking, that's mad. That's going to... And I've seen other ones like, you know, have you seen the one with a guy? He's got like his face on the side of his head yeah. and his hair and his beard's on it. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Like, I've seen one, one, but in the salon... Listen to this. You know, no one comes no one comes here and says, I am mate, I'll have a short back and cereal <laughs> when it's a business, it's different. But if you want to take it there, you can. Yeah, you you, yeah, yeah. But you've yeah, seen you one yet, yeah, please. Yeah, it's a, some guy like all <laughs> faded out and that dreads on the top. It's a picture of Bob Marley. Yeah. And, no, and he's smoking a spliff like yeah, a spliff in his mouth. Like, yeah. But the dreads are actually, it. yeah, it's mad. Yeah. Or you can just slap the fuck out of people's heads if you've seen that one. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. yeah. Mad, bro. I like your cut, G. I used to wait having the alcohol sprayed on after like a, a fade <laughs> a and that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I love like that. that. Some yeah, oh, yeah. See, like, some oh, people oh, like so that. Pain, I yeah. love that, bro. <laughs> it's like when you have a shave. It's like. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, yeah silly man. man. Uh, have you ever been um like to be to be fair? You seem like every time I've seen you, you know, since I've known you, always got love. You know, very likable person. Have you ever like um been on the wrong side of the law? Have you ever been in trouble? Or have you always been just a lovable? No, nah, like kid. yeah, I've, I've been I've been in trouble, bro. I've been in trouble like when I was younger, but it was more like a I just matched the description, bro. One of the boys done something. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I matched the description, bro. Please, it's have, always please the case that you match bro, the description, you know I mean? it, bro. And it's like, like they've took me, and all the boys looking at me. I'm just like, oh, bro. Do you get me? I was there, like I just got yeah. yeah. It was, do you get me? I've had like one or two run-ins, bro, but. Nothing major, bro. I'm not fucking well, Pablo Escobar or nothing. Well, yeah, what you're saying <laughs> yeah. about, like, you know, it fits the image and I like Cardiff, you know, we're very multicultural, uh, very proud city, but, like, obviously the things that happen, like, rest in peace, Mahmood and stuff, have you ever experienced, like, stuff like racism and that by police and stuff? Yeah, definitely, bro. Definitely. Like, like that, that one, for example, bro, like, it was like I got stopped on Splot Road by two police officers on horses and I was in a tracksuit. And then I went home to change, because it was hot. And then I went to Helen Place Park, like by Clifton Street. And then they was like, police have come and said, you've done this like 20 minutes ago. And I was like, I got stopped 20 minutes ago in Splot. Yeah. Do you get me? I was like, radio through, whatever, do your thing, innit? Yeah. I, like it was two women police officers. And still they just locked me up, because it was, do you get me? It was another black kid who That's like mad. done a raise, yeah. innit? And like, they just weren't having none of it, bro. But then, Bro, I don't yeah, know, bro. They do what they want, innit, it? Sometimes it's like the power gets to the dead, bro. Yeah, it, yeah, you know it's, they're like that with everyone, mad, bro, though, innit? Yeah. Mm. What do you think of the? Um, did you watch the the, the um, killing in Tiger Bay? With yeah, Jonathan bro, stuff? it's mad, bro. It's mad. It was only mm. thirty years ago. That's yeah. not even long. Like, Nineteen mm. eighty-eight. Oh, no, 80, eighty-eight Valentine's Day. Fucking hell, it's yeah. crazy, innit, bro? Bro, it's mad. What's that? Mm. Thirty years? More? Mm. It's just over, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well. Yeah, about the thing years. that the, the thing that um, was scaring me is when like they were saying like there was more into it in the back like they were trying to develop the Atlantic Wharf and Cardiff Bay at the time mm. and like because it was really rough and they were trying to develop the city and, and this, this was looming over their yeah. head like so 
that is really why they fucking framed them. Like, do you see yeah, what I mean? Bro, it's it was fucking mad. sad. And talking to my dad and that about what it used to be like back in the day, bro. It's like, don't get me wrong, it's much more subtle now. Do you mm, get me? Yeah. But back then, it was like blatant mm. in your face, and there's nothing, not much you can do about it. Do you mm. get me? Yeah. Like they, they, I think there was witnesses who said it was like it was one white guy and four yeah, black was. people got It was a crime watch, wasn't yeah. it? With the actual guy, like yeah. you said, they seen him with his hand. They had cut, a not picture far of from him. him. And, and, and the E fit fit him to a T when yeah. they caught him later. Oh, like, bro. Yeah, 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 to yeah. a T, bro. He handed himself in, didn't he? I, no, no. Two thousand and three. It was DNA, right? Um, it was DNA of um, this guy, um, and it fitted. The, it fitted. But it, they, it when he checked the father, first, yeah, father was dead. But it fitted the uncle, and it okay. was it was him. Mm. Mad, bro. I watched it, and I was like, "Geez, I was thinking, yo, that's crazy, bro. Mm, so much corruption out there. It 100%. is, bro. even the government. Um, but then people know, people think there's no racism in Wales, yeah. especially from the police. Yeah. But then it's like, look, bro. look at that, Boom. bro. Yeah, yeah. straight away. Yeah, look what's look what's happening still. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Do you get me? Mm. Mad. So yeah, let's 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 talk more about like then your solo career now then. So like, you, so what was the first? Um, was it Charlie Foxtrot the first mixtape you done as Mace the Great? Obviously you done like um, it's mad a couple of years before as Mace and stuff with tracks. But what really started like um, when you started looking at yourself and thinking, yo, I can make a career out of this now? Yeah, I just thought I just thought, bro, it just got to a point where like I weren't happy if I weren't doing music, bro. Do yeah. you get me? I felt like. I just felt lost, bro. Do you mm. get me? Like, I can't do the work and home and that's it thing. Do you get me? I had to Creative. have something to chase. Do you get me? Or mm. some something. I I just felt yeah. I just felt. I always felt happier when I was doing music, bro. So yeah, that's just what I did, bro. And I just thought like, I was in a group. I always had like a push to do it, and now it's like I got to push myself. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, the Charlie Foxtrot thing. I had a bit of. I think it's mad done well for me, bro, because like when I done Charlie Fox Trot, that's when they first let me in the stadium and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was amazing, bro. To see to mm. see that, it was such a nice feeling. Yeah, mm. Bro, it was mad because we messaged them and they were like, yeah, we've heard your song. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, bro, literally, they've like, it's like they let me in the stadium, shut the door and was like, yep, go on. And think? I'm just like, Yo. That's amazing, that is. Look well, at, you just emailed them and you just said, yo, like, we got it. You know, I'm doing this thing. and they Yeah, were, yeah, yeah. Perry sent the email and we was just like, that's sick. That's sick, you know, man. we're looking to do X, Y, Z. Um, you know, would we be able to film in the stadium? And they was like, yeah, we've heard we've heard this mad and stuff. And wow. like, yeah, you know, they didn't charge us. That's amazing, bro. Look at Dialect now with uh, Leeds United, the DLE guy, like, do you know what I mean? Sick. I think these clubs... What's that? So Dialect, who's a gr grime MC, had then loaded the mics. You've seen them, sp um, them is, is spoof Gibson? things he does? Like, oh, it's like fire in a booth. You know the fire in a booth, like bro. the Prince Harry. He oh, that one was he crazy. He done Pikachu, didn't he? Yeah, and yeah. he done an Anthony Joshua one the oh, other day. Oh, did he? But the Prince that Harry one... Sick. Bro, was the hardest, What's the, bro. So tell me this deal. So like fire in the spoof. Oh right. So do you know what the fire in the spoof is? though before I go on about the no. Deal? What is it? So basically, and so for the people at home booth, as well. So, so fire it. in the booth is um is basically where um, an MC will come on. It was in Charlie Sloth when it radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will come and they will they will just spit their fire. You know, they will bring their A game in it, and and it's something that happens every other week maybe mm. or once a week. And and you know some of the greatest um artists have been on it. Some of the greatest spitters. If you go on that, you. You've probably made it, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, that's like, definitely you know, a big milestone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. As, a, as a rapper. Mm. So Fire in the Spoof is basically an animated series of characters. <laughs> so you've got like, and it's like in like a family guy, like, you know, so you'll have like Prince Harry, who done one after the Oprah Winfrey interview. Bro, the Prince Harry one was <laughs> so sick. It's actually, yeah. it's a tune I'd, I'd, I'd play, <laughs> like, it's a banger. They've done Eddie Hearn. Yeah, the Eddie Hearn one was sick. Dialect is so really there, good at it though. Really he's good. got a few, haven't he? Yeah, yeah. is yeah. it them? Imp he's impersonating them. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be established rappers or, or MCs who will uh, be behind like the, the voice. character's point of view. So, oh, you're, you're, that's you're, sick. Yeah, so it's like storytelling, really, yeah, as a yeah. person. And he's done a few. So Dialect is a very talented MC, but um, I don't know what the the, the ins and out of the deal is, but basically um, I think it was in collaboration with JD Sports and Leeds United. So they filmed there, So yeah. he'd done like a, a song for Leeds and it was like, it was it gets played like at the games and stuff. What? And Crazy. Like, that's what know, it's all about, bro. Yeah. That's, that uh, is so And shout sick. out, you know, Smart. shout out to Izzy J, yeah? Yeah. You know, Izzy, yeah, he's no, done he's, a tune with him. We're yeah, in a bad yeah. tune He's either. done a tune yeah. with him and he's just come back from Leeds yesterday. They're like actually like friends now. Like, yeah. Yeah. They were in Leeds together. 
together they're performing they're drinks, on, the, so. on, on the road like yeah, on busking like yeah, they, busking. they were out is that Cruella tune yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so fair you know, play to him bro that, that's up yeah I was gonna say what, let's, let's move on to something in a minute before we go back what, what do you think about paying for features I've heard this a lot uh, for me bro um, I don't I don't know maybe when you get to a certain point like I don't, I don't know. I'm more of a, I'm more for the organic kind of thing, bro. It's like, you get me? We build a little relationship where we make a tune. Uh, yeah. We make a tune because I rate you yeah. and you rate me. Do you get yeah. me? And we think we can make a good tune together. Yeah. Rather mm. than like... I know what you're saying. You know, but then again, I guess like when Music you get to a certain level and well. you've got labels and stuff. Yeah. You know, if someone what, come though, to you though, innit? If someone yeah. come to you, you, you imagine yeah. you blew, someone come to you, yeah, and was mm. like, listen really like you, I think you'd fit perfect on this song. Yeah. You're not really feeling the guy, he's offered him some mad money. No, but even like, you yeah, might. Yeah, I think it's <sighs> like, it's a mixture of like, keeping yeah. your integrity, yeah. but then, do you know yeah, what? Though, mad money's might, mad money, isn't it? That guy might come to you with a banger though, do you get me? Yeah. And if he, you know. it, if he's willing to f pay the money and you hear and you think, do you know what actually? It's this you, this is actually a like, In my head, like I jump on this for he must free. Be, like, he must be, he yeah. must believe in himself yeah. to want to pay that piece to you. Definitely. He's it's in, like it's, that. At the same it's time, so weird, it's like, it's, like it's, just it's said, an investment, isn't it? But it's like you said, isn't it? You want to get paid as well. So you'll jump on it. want to work on it for free, like if it's a banger. It's just mad, isn't it? If you're feeling it, you'll jump on it. Yeah. But then do you think like when say uh how can i say this now so um so say you've got two artists like i don't i don't really know notes situation but say notes is with a label and h is with a label did the does that label pay h for his feature on mm. the notes so, uh, i reckon you you just, yeah. just both take a cut from the tune yeah, yeah, they you probably, that's what it is. When you're at that, I think that level is just like collaboration. I think, yeah, I think like, it yeah. changes when you're yeah, on a label and stuff, yeah, but it's definitely. like, yeah. That's yeah. mad, isn't it? Like JME's another one who will yeah. jump on tunes he rates, bro. JME, do you yeah. get me? Um, and I, I don't, I don't know. From what I know of JME, I don't think he's the type to be like, he seems it. like he, he don't, don't care about nothing, the fame bro. or nothing. I feel, no, no, I feel like, like he'll jump on he, a song if he likes the song. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. It ain't, he ain't got to release something and get loads of views. Like he don't care. Like, he's none of his music's on Spotify. He only really really sell hard copies of his tunes. Like. Yeah. I think how he's done that in a time like this, bro, is amazing. Sick, bro. yeah. yeah. Swear yeah. down, sick. Yeah. Well, go, well, that was interesting. Going back then to obviously like the the, the Cardiff City thing and that, like, like mm. how did they treat you? Like, because obviously, was that did that how you got Robert Earnshaw on from the Cardiff City thing, or was that just a separate thing again? No, that was a separate thing, basically. Um, so how it started was, bro. I just woke up to an email one day. It was like earlier on this year, and they was like, I had an email off Cardiff City, and when I scanned the email, just quickly. I was thinking, oh, like, do they want like a photo shoot or something? Like in the top or like me in the yeah. top or something? I don't know. So I'm just reading it and I'm like, yo, they want the tune. They want to use the tune. I'm like, yo, this is mad. I'm That's like, sick. That's mm. so sick. You know, the score. Yeah. So they was like, so it sounds sick. like a football team. Yeah. yeah. We were just the, come yeah, right yeah, side yeah, the bridge. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was just, it was like a pleasant surprise, bro. They was like, yo, we think this will be the perfect tune for the, for the kit launch 2021, 2022. And I'm thinking, yo. Bro. Mad, big, like I couldn't big. have, I didn't plan that. I like, right, yeah. obviously I, I wanted mm -hmm. to make a tune that would, um, like you know, I wanted to do a title track for the mixtape called My Side of the Bridge. You know, so I wanted to do a tune called that yeah. to go hand in hand with the title of the EP, and I wanted to make a tune about Cardiff and that. Do you get me? Like, mm. yeah, you're very patriotic in you, like when it comes to Cardiff and Wales, like. I think like the land of the brave and that, I think that's yeah, kind yeah. of insinuating Wales and stuff and I like. Yeah, mm. definitely, bro. End of the day, bro, it's, it's where I'm from, innit, bro? I have to, I have to represent, I have to, I have to big Did up where I'm from. There are out there, though, who try and like distance themselves from it, do you know what I mean? Because it is that stigma. Yeah, definitely, bro. Country. Nine times out of 10, when I go London, bro, 
even with my accent, I've got the baitest Cardiff accent in the world, right? It is quite bad. It is terrible, bro. I'm <laughs> serious. I've always hated my accent. We all got bad yeah. ones, bro. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, but, you know, <laughs> we all got strong guys. I right, think yeah. it's just outside the card, if anyway. You bro, know, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's splotched. Bro, bro, it's yeah. ruthless, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's much more, it's much more, yeah, it is, it is, bro. Yeah. But even when I'm in London, bro, and like, I got the worst Cardiff accent ever, and like, <laughs> man don't think I'm from Wales and that, bro. Is it? And it's like, Raz, you're from, mm. you're from Cardiff. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, obviously. Well, they can't even hear that in your voice. Well, like, you'd think so, but... Do you, do you know what? I see so many people go to London and then they... they, they it's because They don't even go to uh, London. They force the accent, bro. They force the London yeah. accent. And, and bro, obviously, at one point in the scene, bro, everyone was, in, in, yeah. everyone was spitting with a London accent. But then yeah. it was like... The local. people like local, bro. The yeah. people like local, bro. He spat how he spoke, and I always thought, like, yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to rap how I talk. Do you get yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And somehow I just drilled that into myself, bro, and boom, just got it done. Yeah, mm. no, yeah, I yeah. That. Sick. That's the best way to be, man. I've been saying that for a time, bro. People need to start using well, it. It is, accent. you know. You go listen to these Birmingham rappers, listen to these Leeds yeah, rappers. Like you know, you, they're, they're, they're good because of how they sound. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, more yeah, truthful yeah. you are, the better your music. Like, sounds. Definitely, that's, that's what makes you. you Unique, innit? That's what makes you. You'll find your. I've seen on someone's comment the other day. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to talk about it anyway because of you know the times we're in. But this like this Wales England thing now. Wales versus London. Yeah. And someone done a send to Wiley. I won't say no names, but someone's put a comment like, "How ironic! He's sending for London in a London accent. Like it's just like <laughs> no. oh, a Welsh hey. man sending for London in a London accent. Like what? <laughs> no, it's mate. You got you got to stay true to to where you're from, bro. But yo, just to go back to the the Earnshaw thing, because I didn't answer yeah, your question. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Mm. No, it's alright. I went off on a tangent, bro. So yeah, that happened with Cardiff City, and then we kind of proposed. You know, we said what we wanted. So it's like, I need some t-shirts. I need to- Cash. Do you get me? Yeah, I got, I got a fee. I got, do you get me? Here's my fee. I need some t-shirts. Can I get, you know, can I perform yeah. in the stadium? This and that. Yeah. So What, but, in front of the crowd? Yeah, so I'll be performing on the 2nd of October, bro, at the Cardiff Reading game. Class, bro. So yeah. Hopefully hey, that's sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys yeah. even do the Swansea, win it? Yeah. Oh, bro. No, that's so <laughs> sick, bro. Swear down. Yeah, I did want to get moves, a big bro. Listen, you turn that up, bro. You can end up being like a, yeah. you know, a lifelong fucking, mm. you, you know, like a fucking, mm. not a mascot, but you know what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, no, you could be a part of it. Like I feel like I've got a good relationship with with the guys there now, bro. Do you get me? They're all they're all really nice, do you get me? Um. Then big moves are important. Yeah. They're the thing that's just really set you apart and take you to that mm. next step. So yeah. just more of them would be lovely, bro. Yeah, bro. It was, it, bro. It just, it just all fell into play, bro. How literally. did they um, find? Because obviously your tune went out at that time, innit? it? No, it was. So I oh. released the, I released the EP in not March. Not the video innit? though, innit? So yeah, not yeah. the video. So they must have just li heard it off the EP, EP, and then approached me. And then when I'm doing the video, um, my manager Perry, he's got like, he's got a good relationship with Earnshaw, so he's just shouted Earnshaw. And um, he's come down for the video, bro. Yeah. Sick. Do you get me? We're doing bear sports in the video. So the whole idea behind the My Side of the Bridge video was just kind of like paying homage to like athletes that I that I rate, innit? So yeah. The boxing was for like Ali. Um, what else? I'm thinking now. What other sports did I Golf, do in it? Tennis. Golf, obviously. Tiger yeah. Woods. Yeah. Tennis. tennis. And that yeah, was like yeah. Venus and Serena and that. Yeah. Mm. See, I thought it was for like like people in Wales. I did. You no, could, so, you can yeah. interpret it to that though. Yeah, no, it, it was. It was because I've, I've got pictures on my phone in there. I was looking at what like Welsh legends to do in it. Welsh legends to base it off. Yeah. And that. Do you get me? So mm. um, that's definitely why I got Earnshaw in there because I wanted yeah. like I wanted like a, a Welsh the boxers footballer. boxers as well. You've got so many great boxers. Yeah, yeah. like even like yeah, go Calzaghi, to the Calzaghis and that. Uh, Robbo Sick. from Cardiff, Robinson. Mad, yeah, of course, Robinson. And it, yeah, even I one of his dad and his boys, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the difficult Celtic one. Celtic Manor. We just got a, we got a nice fucking golf <laughs> course, but no players. Yeah, like <laughs> the, the golf and the tennis was a bit difficult to do, but like um, it was all good, bro. I got into the I I used the gym on City road um yeah, for yeah, the boxing yeah. and that so, yeah. so everything had, uh, was filmed in, in cardiff denzel's gym is it yeah or? denzel's gym it was I that that video so highly bro Honestly, you, amazing nice. bro the promo everything like yeah, the, it was, the, good. The, was it a golf ball or was it a football when you're when you're on the golf course and it just rolls past yeah, yeah. it was it was Quite like fun. a basketball bro. yeah, yeah. Basketball i like how you went into the details past. as well you even got your uh your, your logo printed on the tennis ball yeah that was that make a big difference bro honestly yeah it's all branding in it and to be i'll be honest bro the boys the red brick boys suggested that and i was like yeah sick yeah details man listen you know that my side did a bridge 
that is a brand now, like that's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. sick. That's that's what I wanted to do with it, bro. I wanted to I wanted it to be more than just like a title for my EP and a tune I done. I wanted yeah. it to be something you associate with me as well. Do you get me? Just another thing that branches off off my makes the great. Do you get me? So yeah, that's what I wanted to do with it. So You've done it well. Really yeah. well, and uh, yeah, sick man. Honestly, listen, man, we I've got we got quite a few questions here we want to ask you and I, but obviously, like before we go, I I want to know like what are your future plans now? What what have you if you got like a two three year plan where you're looking to go? Yeah, like I've got certain things I want to do, bro. I'd love to do like a Welsh tour, so do the valleys, sick. do Swansea, do Newport, and then like end in Cardiff. Mm-hmm. Um, that's something that's definitely yeah. something I want to do. Um. Obviously, I want to do my first headline show, but that would tie in with a Welsh tour, maybe. Of course. Um, I, I, I definitely want to get more shows going outside of Wales. I, I just want to branch out, bro. Do you get me? I want to branch yeah, out, uh, collaborate with people, um, especially outside of Wales now, in order to branch out. Who's your so dream collaboration, bro? My dream collaboration, bro. My dream collaboration. Um... My dream collaboration will probably be someone like, someone like Chip, bro. Or really? Jeez. So like old school grime. Yeah, because so. I remember like Chip's Westwood freestyle when I was yeah. in school and that. Got you my old phone, uh, my yeah. yeah, people may think so that's hard. like a like a bit. I don't know, like um, not. I'm not aiming high enough, or I don't yeah. know. Yeah. No, well, no, I was gonna say you can have bro. your dream or your realistic dream. Yeah. You know, you're no, realistic, realistic or, or your dream no, or, or your or whoever, just, like who you really, who yeah. you really want. Do you not, get I me? Mean? Not, not about just who's for the biggest. industry or to yeah. get clout. Like you actually really want to collaborate mm. with him. So yeah, I'd love to. Work I could, bro. With... Do you know what? I can hear Chip and you, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. I can, bro. I swear, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that would be. I would. I would love to work with Chip. Bro, yeah. Stormzy's like a massive inspiration. That's Stormzy. Hard. Stormzy. The Stormzy ma- chip back to back. I could imagine you back to back replacing Stormzy on that yeah. chip. Yo, man. Like when he's saying about <laughs> going back to back with chip, yeah, right? yeah, I can yeah. imagine like, you know, spitting fast, spitting slow, yeah. breaking it down. I yeah, no, like these man are massive inspirations for me, bro. Chip, Stormzy, mm. Dave, they're, they're massive Jeez. inspirations to me, Trust bro. Me. And it's like seeing like Stormzy's come up gave me a little kick up the ass because it was like yo bro I feel like I can do this do you get me yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. like definitely you can bro 100% like yeah, yeah. I, it just made me feel like bro you're not much different to me innit do you mm. get me like yeah of course we, do you get me like yeah I just we felt are, like bro, it just inspired yeah. me to to, to to level up and do De- more do you get me definitely you changed the game bro yeah massive inspiration to me bro so, so yeah more co- so more collaborating uh, plan for the Welsh tour what mm-hmm. about an album bro are you thinking about dropping any albums yeah or? I think <laughs> there's there's a, mad, there's a mad stigma about albums that which I thought anyway this might just be me I always thought oh you gotta be in a certain position to do an album you gotta be famous you gotta be this and that but I think like yeah, I think I'll. Be, I think you know, within either next year or the the following year, I'll definitely release an album. Yeah, nice, bro. Like, there may be another EP or a few singles before it, but it's yeah. definitely on the cards. I like bro. the thought of an album, not just an EP or a mix. Yeah, thing. and when I want to do an album, I want to do it like take your like time. It's defining, story, bro. Your first like, album is defining, bro. Yeah, it's. Like, I want it to be like a movie, bro. Yeah, like nice. intro skits and stuff in between, Sick. outro and that. Yeah, yeah, nice, bro. That's gonna be hard. All right, yeah, well, I got some questions here for you, bro. Oh, here they're, they're, we go. No, they're not even. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of names I want you, like, what, you know, what you think of them and some questions on what you have. So, um, the first one is obviously, we've said about influences and that. Um, who is your favorite MC? My favorite MC. My favorite MC. My favorite. <laughs> it's hard. My it? favorite MC, yeah, <laughs> is probably Skepta. What about US though? US, my favorite like rapper, yeah. rapper from US. <sighs> my favorite rapper from US, it has to be. It's a toss up between Kendrick or Cole for me, bro. Is nice. It? Yeah, yeah really. I really like Kendrick. Yeah, I'd probably Kendrick. have to go with Kendrick, bro. Yeah, Kendrick's v- He's sick. probably He's in my top. In Kendrick's ever. in my top three, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah I probably, I I'd probably have to go with Kendrick, like my favourite from yeah. the US. Yeah, I like all of Jay Rock, so like that type of rap. Like all of his sick. albums, Section Eighty, Black Hippie, all of them. Yeah, 
you know, Pimp a Butterfly. Yeah, Pimp a Butterfly, that's a, that's a sick one. Trust, that's a mad album. D, what, DNA was it? Or what was that? Like? That's on Damn. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Another Damn, band. that was another that big was one. Fire. He's dropping one more <laughs> soon, isn't he? He's bringing out another album. And he's so, like, with his visuals and stuff, like, um, yeah. is it... Is it humble when his head's on fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera strange, that, isn't it? Yeah, stuff bro. like that. It's just iconic, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. Just so iconic, definitely, bro. bro. Yeah, so Tyler's cool. quite sick as well for for. Music yeah, I video. feel like his new album and that's mad, bro. He's a well, Tyler, that's, that's really yeah. Yeah. bro, I feel like he definitely deserves more props. Hundred percent. He's like a performer, isn't he? He's so unique. Yeah, you know, he's got yeah. the whole blonde I blonde s- wig thing. Yeah, that's his. That's he's, that's, he's got a cult that, following, it? haven't he? He has different characters, isn't he? You got like Flower Boy, Ego. Sick. He, Ego's a gay a gay man. Like he's gay himself. He's yeah, quite, you know. But yeah, there was I did hear talk about that. He's sick, bro. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't even he's, know he's, that. He's, he's, he's gay. Well, he might be trolling, like. Nah, nah, he's not. Bro, I, he's not. Yeah, that's yeah. the bisexual. thing with him. You he's, just he's never just, know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, he's, he's trolling. Bisexual, I think, bro. But he did yeah. come out like, yo, I am gay. Mm. I think so. <laughs> yeah, he did tweet that. He is mad, he? though, bro. Yeah. He's sick, bro. I, I like him. Yeah, I like Tyler, the creator, bro. Definitely. All right, then. Um, Who's your Mount Rushmore in Wales? What's that? What, 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 Who's your top four? Who would be on oh, the mountain? Oh, okay. True course. Mount Rushmore. That's be, the big could... statue. <laughs> yeah, 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 Sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm this... moving like a donut, bro. Yo, this no, could be no, pioneer. No. Like, well, whatever, you thinking, know, in the, in the music scene in Wales, who are your pioneers? Oh, that's a good question. I I would definitely, i definitely put local in there. Um, What, like my favourites? Or You've got to have, like, Mount Rushmore is like the, the S3 and another face four of, like, that's the... the Wales. The, the Wales. Mount that Mushmore. is Wales. So I mean, Mount Rushmore is the okay. president, isn't it? The top, you know, yeah. like George Washington. So who are you, who's your Mount Rushmore? Ooh, huh. right. Yeah. Can I include myself or yeah. do I just pick... Of course not. You can say yourself. <laughs> That's fine, man. I, I, I love that. You know, you've got to no, yourself, bro. 100%, <laughs> you've yeah. got to say yourself. That's sick, bro. Um... Yeah, okay. I put myself in there because I got to back my team. I rate, the, I rate the fact that he said himself as well. I, I, ha- I have to, bro. Do you <laughs> get me? I have to be my own biggest yeah, fan. So 100%. I put myself in there. <laughs> I definitely put local in there. Um, ooh, two more, two more. I think M9. I think M9 is really good. I think M9 is very yes, sick. Bro. Come on. And I got one more. One more, bro. I'm not. I'm not trying to sway you. Yeah, yeah, but he has. You just, could, he's you, done a couple of things. You could. Color lies, so. I'm sure. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Dick. Make sure check that. <laughs> yeah. No, no. What I'm saying is, yeah, you could put a group as one as a Rushmore. I'm not saying. I'm just saying if if there was a group there or, yeah. You know, you don't have to choose one out of the group, but you know. Yeah, no, I get that. Okay. Still not in there, no. <laughs> <laughs> wait there, wait there, wait there. <laughs> Still not in there. <laughs> Still. <laughs> um, oh, bro. This is a tough one. I got one more. I got one more, bro. I you thought got you would have said Phil. Local, M9, what and. You say? Uh... I would say. I would say, yeah, do you know what, bro? I would fling in either Asteroid Boys or Phil. Do you get me? Yeah. Do you get me for like, because Phil's been a good, for what they've done, the accolades they've done, what they've done, no one's done, bro. Do you get me? So that's not me just saying it because they're my friends. It's like the proof's in the pudding. No one's done things that they've done in it. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? And also Phil's been a massive like help to me. Do you get me? In terms of his knowledge on the game and that. Do you get me? Respect. So, yeah, that would be... Is it Asteroid Boys or Phil? <sighs> you can't call the Benji out like that now, can you? Nah, you know what? You know <laughs> what? You know what? I would put... I would put Asteroid Boys because... And it's not just Benji and Phil, it's Dell as well. Dell is arguably one of the most talented producers yeah, from you, along with Chris Rich, along with Minas. Do you get me? Like, Dell yeah, is... He's... Out of this world, bro. He is nice. Do you get me? So Astro Boys as a collective, bro. Even though they they ended a long time ago, bro. They they their name still holds weight for what they've done. Yeah, of course it does. No one's done what they've done since they they done it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so, quite happy with that. I'm I'm quite happy yeah, with that. Sick. 
I'm surprised yeah. traumatic ain't in it, but then yeah, everyone Mr. says Shrubs. traumatic, don't they? Yeah, and that's traumatic. quite healthy on the scene that you've got them for there who I'm happy with, and you still got someone like traumatic out there and other yeah, and other and other MCs along. Traumatic you know? is always like I feel like where he's like where he's always been. It's like he's been successful for ages, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's like you forget to even mention yeah, him, bro, because yeah. he's just gone. Do you get yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. That's I'm yeah, like I said, fair play to you, bro. Put I me love on the how, spot with that, yeah. No, I love <laughs> I love how you put yourself on it as well, bro. hundred percent. Yeah, bro. I think I I think I have to, bro. What mm. am I talking about Mount Rushmore not picking myself? Bro? Yeah, come, come on. on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what are whales? What is what? What are Wales? <laughs> no, I know they swim in the fucking sea. What is Wales missing in the music scene? I think Wales, yeah, <laughs> missing in terms of. I think it's missing its own kind of. Um, it's like you forget Wales is. It's like people forget Wales is its own country, bro. Do you get me? We should have our own one extra building down here. Yes. Do you get me? We should have our own platforms within Wales, do you get me? Yeah. So I think that's a big thing now that Wales is missing. There's a few ones coming up now, like Tantos. Uh, yeah, 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 grimy. definitely. Big up, big up Stabs, because yeah. he's, he's been, you know, he's always been, he's a hard worker, isn't he, bro? Yeah. Especially yeah, with Tantos. You can see that it's progressing also that way, grimy. isn't it? Mm. Yeah, there's Even little like platforms. Even like Entertainment on Instagram, and he's posting whoever's like putting their music out every Yeah, like we got blog pages and that now, but I'm, I'm talking corporate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you yeah. mean you like me? uh, BBC and that? Yeah, BBC yeah. Radio like, Wales. You think yeah. they need Why we got... Yeah, yeah. Why we well, got? Why have? Why have? Why have I got to go London to jump on one extra, bruv? Bro, do you get yeah, me? What like Wales million. is his own country, bro. Mm. Do you get me? Totally yeah. agree, bro. So yeah. I think things like that are needed um, down here. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. What are your thoughts on the Wales v England uh, situation with this grime clash with Wiley and whatnot? Bro, I think, I think, bro, it's it's good. Do you get me? It's good. It's exciting. Do you get me? It's like. It's something to it's something new to talk about. It's, but like for me, it was like I just felt it was all a bit forced, bro. Do you get me? I don't mean to upset people, but I'm entitled to my opinion on it, isn't it? And I feel oh, like sure. I mm. feel like it was a bit forced, bro. Like the only reason the word Cardiff came out of Wiley's mouth is because Deadly lives here. And I understand the he has like, pricked up. Being a, yeah, I understand that of being being hungry for it and yeah. being from Wales and feeling like we've always been shunned almost. So yeah, but jump it, into the opportunity, I completely understand that. I think some people seen that and thought that he was dissing Cardiff in a way, and you got you got to back yourself, haven't you? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. I can I can see I I can see I can I can understand like, oh, that de- you're from Cardiff, mates. Like sit down, like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. That's... Like downplay it. Like you, you means me and Brummy, you're in Think, Cardiff. Yeah, da, da, da. yeah. And like, that makes it crap. Almost if anything, like you negative. Know what I'm like yeah. Mm. No, I hear that definitely. Yeah, I hear that. But then you've got J.K. who's taking Wiley's head off, who dropped a bang yeah. on a local. Deadly, so, bro, I think Deadly's one was alright as well. Man. Deadly's one My was bro, crazy. My uh, bro, shout out Ruben as well because he mixed one of the tunes. Like, Sick. Yeah, yeah, Yo, both of Deadly's ones were, were tough, yeah. bro. Mm. And like, no disrespect to Wiley, I'd always have a lot of respect for Wiley, but I think toe to toe, I, I do think Deadly's the better MC. Yeah, out of the two. Oh, yeah. lyrics wise, I, I I think yeah, with Wiley, he, he's just. Fired, like, he? bro, if Wiley, if it was the same Wiley who replied back to Devlin back mm. in the day, it's not the it's, same. It's it's mad. It's yeah. mad. That Wiley's crazy, mm. but it's not the same. It's not yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. it's Deadly's not the same. He ain't got that thing. fired in his bed. Like, I, obviously, I don't know him, bro. But, but then again, from he's... a consumer's point of yeah. view, like that Wiley who sent back to Devlin about fifteen years ago. Like was an was animal. A, was animal. A, animal. He was animal. a young, fresh Wiley. You know, yes, he was hungry, bro. He yeah. was he was replying within twenty four hours. Yeah, do you get me? Yeah. He had two disses off of two. But is he doing people that from Brum? Is, yeah, you know, it's... Devil Man sent for him as well. If we're gonna <laughs> judge him on how quick, <laughs> yeah, he's... you see that? Yeah, <laughs> that was sick. If we're gonna judge him though on 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 the pace of uh, coming back with a diss, then fair enough. But. Is he doing that on purpose? Is he purposely? Yeah, not I think Wiley, Wiley, Wiley is so smart, bro. Yeah, Wiley's calculated. Bro. Someone put something up saying the Wiley's thing. been shunned by the industry. Got the whole of the UK talking about him. Yeah. Still, how? Because he's smart, bro. Well, that's what, what someone said. Someone said, I don't know who it was. It was on. It was online. It was actually on his story, tagged on it, and it said, "I think people are misunderstanding. Wiley is the UK's Kanye West. And he yeah, is very, very clever." Controversial, Don't, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not he's done. He's clever. He knows exactly what he's and doing. And I agree in, in in a way. 
All right, then I got some names here, some uh, ran, ra random ones here actually. Mm. Um, just a, a short sentence or a, a word describing. First one, Robert Earnshaw. Robert Earnshaw, um, humble, um, stand up guy, bro. Definitely. Goldie looking chains. <laughs> Goldie looking chains. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're, they're, they're part of the reason Wales gets looked at as a joke. Thank you. Mm. With, with respectfully, I, listen. No, I think they're cool. great. You can have your opinion, yeah, it is man. though. Definitely. Uh, we, yeah. How many times have I heard that? But they're like they've, like they've, they've they racked in views. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they, they, do you get me? they had big traction. Jokes. I remember yeah. putting MTV on, seeing Goldie looking changed. Bro. Yeah, do you get me? Like that yeah. suspense. Where we've been. Yeah. We've At been that time, there back. wasn't other people that were serious. Yeah. With it's them sad though because there's a lot more serious artists than. Goldie looking chain kind of artist in Wales, bro. Do you mm. get me? Yeah, even probably then it probably was as well. Yeah. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? But 100%. oh, let's get these dodgy Welsh in sheep shaggers on and yeah, yeah. dressed up like weirdos. Took the piss out yeah, of us, if yeah. anything. Yeah. You know, some great, great, you know, great, they had a great album, great songs, you know, so bad and all that. <laughs> Good, funny songs, but yeah, that's it's why I put it in. I wanted to know from someone who's a serious artist from Wales, what was your opinion on Goldie looking chains and you know, I, I you're bang on in what you're saying, I think. Yeah, that's that's my honest kind of opinion. Like respectfully again, like do you get me? They done their thing, but I feel like they're part they are part of the reason why Wales isn't taken seriously music like in a music yeah. sense. Mm. Asteroid Boys. Asteroid Boys. Um Influential, bro. I think is that a word? Influential. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, I've done yeah. influence influencers. <laughs> 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 um <laughs> Yeah, almost like trendsetters for what they done, bro. Do you get me? They were different. They brought the whole kind of rock and grime together. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were. You know, I think they were. They were the guys, bro. They yeah. they they were killing it, bro. So yeah, definitely um, a big influence, bro, to show me what was possible. Yeah. Local, local, legend, bro. Local is a, is a legendary mic man in this country, bro. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. Massive props to local. I local been doing this since before I was even an MC, bro. Mm. <laughs> I remember watching yeah. local, thinking, "Yo, trash. do you get me? Yeah. I like, I like yeah, this trash. guy. He's a nice guy me? as well, and he's quite yeah. humble. Yeah. Yeah. Guy. He's from just like, a normal. Oh my goody goody gum drops yeah. oh, oh from my. them days, bro. Yeah, like yeah, local, yeah. bro. Yeah, I trust. I got the utmost respect for local, bro. Definitely. South Wales Police. South Wales Police. Ah, bro. Um, <laughs> bastards, bro. <laughs> nah, like, I think, yeah, I think the racism is still there, bro. Things have happened in the last two years that are, like, ridiculous, bro. Mm. Ridiculous, bro. Um, yeah, no, nah, I, I, I ain't got nothing good to say about South Wales Police, bro. Obviously, I can, you know, there's probably good people within that system. Yeah. But it's like... If we're reeling off some facts, do you get me, of, yeah, of, of, of what's of happened course. over the last 30 years, do you get me? Like, I think it's, bro, it's, it's up crazy. to, it's like what you say, it, like the police, yeah, there's some good eggs and there's some bad eggs. I think they need to start taking responsibility and the good eggs need to start pointing out the bad eggs. Definitely, you know I mean? bro. Definitely. Listen, you know, like, you know, this Cardiff 3 or 5 back then, it was a reflection on the times. There's no excuses now. We're, no. In, we're in 2021, like, and... Uh, like you said, it's still happening now, so. Bro, there was like, like I have to touch on it, bro, because it, it, it upsets me, bro, do you get me? There was a kid, did you hear about a kid called Christopher Capasa? So this was a kid, yeah, a young kid, bro. No, the, which one? He was a, he was a young black kid living in when, the valleys, recently, Yeah, bro. the drowning. The, the drown, oh, yeah, yeah. Drowned. disgusting, you know? And I feel like, if that, was, if that was a little white kid from Birch Grove, and like there was like three Somalis or four black kids who were witnesses. Would there be the same outcome, no, bro? No, that's no. no they'd no. be hung. They'd be lynched. Do you know that's what I'm what saying, I mean, bro? Yeah. So, and that's recent, bro. That's mad recent. So that's why I feel I some only, type of way about South Wales. I only Police, found bro. out about that because I drove past um, Aberdeer where, where, and it was just a big photo of him with flowers. Mm. That was the only time it raised awareness to me. Like it's horrible, it's crazy. bro. Like um, one of my. One of my friends' mums are good friends with his mum, innit? So it was like, it was just mad, bro. And especially so, where, like, I've got a son now, so I'm a dad now, bro. And it's like, it just hit home a bit for me, yeah, bro. I, I, didn't, imagine, I didn't really like it's that. Not just, it's not just taking care of your kids. It's worrying about government and stuff, I can imagine. Yeah. Like, as well. It's mm, yeah, held accountable it. for it. Please, is he going to get pulled? And I, I just... Yeah. 
It's, it's crazy, sad, bro. bro. So yeah, I haven't really got much good things to say about South Wales Police, bro. Obviously, I'm sure rest in peace to Chris as well. Like. Definitely rest yeah. in peace, Christopher yeah, Capassa, Mahmoud as well. Rest in peace to Mahmoud yeah, and anyone nice, else who's yeah. passed away. Yeah, but I just think it is definitely, you know, we can't paint them all with the same brush, bro, but some things need to change, yeah, bro. Do you get definitely. me? Definitely. Andrew Biggie Morris. Yo, <laughs> bro, I got love for Biggie, bro. I got love for Biggie. When I met him, he was like, yo, Mace. I was like, yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, you know me, bro. <laughs> Go on, yo, superstar, bro. Class. <laughs> yeah, no, I got time for Biggie, bro. He's um He's a superstar, isn't yeah. he, bro? His yeah. personality, his character, he's yeah. unapologetically himself, bro. Yeah, that's good. And the thing about using the people around you, he goes everywhere with his dad and that, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. He yeah. came you, you know his mean? dad. Yeah, 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 I watched that one, bro. Probably so, a nice guy, man. Yeah. yeah. He's down to it. And yeah. he's, he's, been, he's been through it a bit, haven't yeah, he, bro? Do you know what I mean? I haven't had it easy, bro. No. So, you know, to, to not have it easy and still bring such a, a happy kind yeah. of good vibe, do you get me? Take my hundred percent, bro. I like Biggie, yeah. 6 9 Six nine, six nine, bro. It's it's mad because obviously the whole snitching thing. But like musically, bro, if he made decent music, like after mm. the when he weren't screaming down the mic, he made like half yeah. decent tunes, bro. Yeah, but the whole I used to bang him off before, like yeah, before, before he was snitching, like yeah, yeah. But I think six nine is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I used to bang him off before he was snitching. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it kind of just put me off. I'm like, bro, you ain't really about it anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like not, proper not, trial, not, Yeah, I think if you're obviously if you're a civilian, bro, yeah. do you get me? You get me? Yeah, yeah, move like a civilian. But if if you're putting yourself in a certain Certain circle yeah. and they're doing certain you things. You lay with dogs, bro. You're gonna catch fleas, yeah, man, isn't it? Yeah. That's so. it, bro. You got you could get me your major bed and I'll sleep in it, bro. Do you get me sort of thing? Yeah. So it's like I guess it's easier said than done. No one's been in his position, but yeah. yeah. Them, Would you give away your freedom and money and thing? Like that's probably what he was thinking, isn't it? He's like Yeah. 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 What's your is, views on it, bro? Bro, like uh, we were saying on the catch up with me, like so be basically like in it, right? He got in. I understand he was trying to live a life to, um, you know, to project it to people like it probably mm. weren't real. But then when he come out and he's like, the thing is, they fucking, you know, they fucked my girl and they done this. And what would you do? OK, fair enough. But he came out and done the exact same fuckboy shit he was doing when he was up. Yeah. Like, so you haven't learned your lesson. You haven't shut up. You're still doing this mad trolling shit. You're still shouting yeah, off on pod. Bro. He's now on podcasts, like shouting to people and I'll do like, he just, I just think, bro, he's, just, he's, 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 he's a bit learn. crazy, isn't yeah, he, bro? Yeah, he is a bit crazy. Maybe he's mentally ill, I don't know, like, but it's- Probably, bro. It's, uh, someone's he's obviously just, looking he after him, isn't he? Like, he is he's a probably just a genius, uh, though. Yeah, he's just probably like a troll or, or he like- He is a massive yeah. genius. But like, yeah, even he's, down he's to his hair yeah. and yeah. his tattoos <laughs> and his, yeah. his yeah. image. His image is just, I am just- He, he would have been killed. Is. Like, you would have thought he would have been killed by now. Yeah, yeah. So, if they could kill Pac and Biggie and then this guy's still walking, someone's like, like he's been put there like by the industry. Yeah, he's a, is he, a, is he like a- plant. Is he, yeah, is yeah. he an industry plant, bro? Well, he's yeah, he look, crazy. He, he fits the bill, isn't it? Yeah. You know, what I mean? you know they, they, got, they killed X, you know, and, and, they, and, they, and, they, and, he, and he stayed like, you yeah. know what I mean? Bro, yeah. X Man. was amazing. That was a, that was yeah. a big I love, me, I love that genre. What's your opinion on X, bro? Trippy Red, all bro, that. Sick, bro, X was amazing, bro. I yeah. thought X was so talented, Musically, bro. like- the talent is, isn't it? Yeah, like he, I would, I would be so into X. I would even listen to like the the more hardcore stuff of him. I'd That's even give thing. that a he chance. He takes you on a journey, journey bro. Yeah. Don't he? he yeah, him. because I just had, I just had big ratings for him, yeah. bro. He's a he, musically, he's a genius. Did bro. you see the yeah. video of him getting outed on stage? Oh, bro! <laughs> Whoa, he got oh, he got he got stage. levitated. Bro. It was that. like a punch of clothesline. It was yeah. like the, go, the, the thing, the the thing is about that. He's sing he's singing one of his all soft songs and that, isn't he? Like he's well, like he's got punched up. Clothesline from bro, his two feet fist. come off the ground and he's like, yeah. it was yeah, bro, yeah. it was that bro. That would bro. That's like my worst nightmare, bro. To happen to me while performing. Do you reckon you could? Do you reckon you? Do you reckon you can play that? Yeah, yeah, of course. No. All right, and I got these would you rabbers, which we do with everyone, all right? Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm ready for so, these. So, uh, which one did you rather make in? Charlie Foxtrot or My Side of the Bridge? Definitely My Side of the Bridge. I done Charlie Foxtrot just to be like, yeah, I got a mixtape sort yeah. of thing. Do you get mm -hmm. me? My Side of the Bridge, I put a lot more thought into it. Um, but even now, I learned on doing that and I learned what I'm going to do next time round to better it again. Of course. Mm. Um, so, yeah, definitely out of the two, My Side of the Bridge for me. Um, singles, uh, Brave or Boogie? 
bro, that's a tough one, bro. That is a tough one. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'd have to say brave, bro. I don't know. I like them both, man. I like them I both. I love brave. I think that's such a nice tune, bro. I think yeah, brave is like... Yeah. It, it it's like got that old reason. school grime mm. kind of feel Brave to it. Brave is a feel good, you know. You're yeah. proud of something. The boogie is more like, you know. Yeah, it's more relevant. It's more now. Yeah. yeah. So it's a very tough question out of the two. And bro, when I perform them both in Cardiff, they both get like a similar reaction. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's, sick. It's, nice. it's tough, bro. It's tough, but I don't know. I think this one's a, a, a no brainer, uh, but grime or rap? Grime for me, bro. Yes, well done, lad. Grime <laughs> for me, yeah. Um, did you prefer? Do you prefer performing live or uh, just just studio? I prefer performing. I definitely prefer performing. I'm I'm so nervous before performances, bro. But once I'm on, it's like I'm in the zone, bro. Yeah, mm. nice. Um, football, or, <laughs> football, or rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, football for me, bro. No. Definitely. Didn't you get your tough knocked out as well playing? Yeah, rugby? bruv. I swear yeah. down, bro. That yeah. was like <laughs> that was like the final straw for me, bro. Oh, we'll have to uh -huh. get a photo of Mace with no tough heart. Luckily, <laughs> bruv, it weren't it weren't a, a adult tough, bruv. And I, did you get me? I was thinking, yo, what's going Gun on here? Shield. <laughs> like literally, bro. I've I've took a tackle. I've got taken out a touch on that, bro. And I'm just like I've spat, and I was like. I'm That's just feeling tooth, like bro. my gun. I'm thinking, <laughs> yo. I'm thinking, nah, bro. I ain't made shield, for this, bro. bro. Bro, I should have had everything. Gonski, on, bro. They, yeah, the pads, the heads, the, heads, the head gloves. Gloves. Yeah, I should have been dressed gear. for American football. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Boucher, like, like. Yeah, but yeah, that happened to me, bro. That was the last draw for me. No more rugby for me after that, bro. I'm done now. <laughs> um, we say these to everyone. Um, um, are you a mild or a spice? Spice. Are you a flat earth or a round earth? Oh, bruv, do you know what, bruv? <laughs> Please, tell me. Bro, do you know what? At one stage, bro, <laughs> I watched <laughs> I watched the one documentary, bruv, and the Flat Earth, man, they, they had me, bruv, and I was like, yo, it they're makes sense. They're convincing, bruv, they're convincing. Oh, There's a I little know. bit, it makes sense, but really, bruv, yeah. really, no. really. It's so no, easy to no, get, say, like, trapped, isn't it? Bruv, saying, I feel like I got drawn out I a bit, like. You're yeah. saying really because you just don't want to look like a nutter. Really, yeah, truly. Yeah, bro, because every time it's I flat. said it to someone, every time I said it to someone, they were like, you fool, shut up, bruv. Paddy being one of them, he's like, you're mad, bro. And I'm just like, what do you think, Paddy? I swear it's flat, bro. I swear it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> <Just look>, bro. <laughs> but yeah, bro, I swear at one stage, bro, the flat earthers had, man, bro. I was watching the Netflix documentary and I'm thinking, yo, yeah. they're reeling off facts, bro. Do you get me? Yeah. They're dropping facts, bro. And then I'm yeah. like, oh, oh that so what would you say? Ribena, there's a round class, planet Earth on the Ribena carton, bro. Yeah, because they uh, say everything. <laughs> they feed it in, they feed it in. Like, you know, like films, like flat, from flat, the bro. early 1900s, you know, you have the universal with the, with the world, the globe. It's always fed to you in school. Every school got a globe on their fucking. Yeah, that's what bro. they were saying. It's yeah. feeding it to you, bro. Face, I'm done. I can't be asked about. <laughs> nah, but it, like, oh, do you know what it what what it was for me? I looked oh, up, bro. Go. I looked up, bro, and I just thought, bro, like, look at the moon, bro. It's a circle, bro. Yeah, but how do you know it's not flat? It what, might just be a plate. Like, how how would we Once be like a plate. At, <laughs> and that would be like at all perfect and that, like as if because oh, like, oh, they they were saying it's like winning like a dome and that innit? Oh, like, oh, bro, 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 is that your debunk? Is that your debunk? I'm going mad. Bro. Is that your debunking? Is it what? Because uh, that, that's your no. no my debunking is I got a debunking, bro. So say you got a bit of water, yeah. Do you reckon I'll come out or not? Oh shit. Yeah, look at that, bro. So if you come by here, yeah, yeah, the water sit. Goes like that, innit? Yeah. Can you see that? Like yeah. the water curves? Like the river yeah. around it. Bro, think about it, bro. On a bigger scale, it's going to be a circle, bro. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Nah. I don't know. <laughs> like people level, say, yeah. yo, the water's black. How is the hot water always level in my cup? Yeah. So it's always level, yeah? But like, if after a certain amount of time, it's going to curve. Yeah. But that's gravity Look, in that, bro. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah but who, that doesn't so mean nothing about it being these, flat or round, bro. circle. All right, it then. It could go on for ages, bro. If you could explore one of these, deep sea or deep space? Deep sea or deep space? Um, Deep sea or deep space? <laughs> I think I'd rather go... Ooh, I think I'd go deep sea, bruv. Yeah, man. Mm. I think I'd go mm. deep sea. It's a bit sea. of me, that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah interesting, man. Mm. And we ask this to everyone, if you could have two superpowers, one for yourself and one for humanity, what would they be? 
One for myself and one for humanity. So for humanity, I would pick health. Everyone's healthy. Do you get me? No, no complications. Do you get me? Um, um, for myself, for myself, I would pick like teleportation, bro. Jeez. So I can like be in Maldives like now. Boom. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, nice. Yeah. Sick. And I can grab anyone with me. And if you're holding me, if you're touching me, <laughs> like, we're you're all to teleporting. The Maldives, bro. Do you get me? As <laughs> long sick. as we're yeah. all like, linked. Like, like 10 man penguin like. Do you get me? Yeah. 10 man yeah. come holiday to yeah. 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 So yeah, teleportation. You can't need a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Sick. Oh, listen. Um, is, is there anything you would like to say to the people of Wales? Maybe someone who's trying to make in the music scene. Or anything now. you want Any to plug advice? as well. Do you know what I mean? Like if there's anything. This is your time. Um, yeah, man. Obviously, all the youngers coming up, I think they're sick, bro. Do you get me? Um, I think, yeah, just, yo, just keep going. Don't doubt yourself. Just, do you get me? Believe in, believe in your thing. And my side of the bridge out now. Thank you for having me, boys. Yeah, no Yo, worries, it's been man. a fucking pleasure, honestly. Yes, boys. Thank you all for coming. Yes, bro. Wish you all the best. And uh, hopefully, you know, come back in a couple of years' time or in a year's time and you can tell us some, How some, you blew some amazing things. Yeah, yeah, bro, Just. definitely. Bro, happy to be here. Thank you all for yeah, having thank me. Nah, no, honestly, thank you. It's a pleasure, man. Yes. Legend, bro. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you haven't gone and subscribed, make sure you do. Go and check out Macy's uh, work as well. My Don't size of the bridge. Stay central. Stay central. Stay central, Stay central, Stay central man. <laughs> The Central Club.